The last project I want to look at is on Heidi's water heater system for producing her domestic hot water. People ask me all the time whether we should have a water heater blanket. Well, years ago, water heaters were insulated with fiberglass, but no longer. They're insulated with this foam, and they're about two inches thick, and this is much better insulation than fiberglass bat. Why would we put a jacket on when all the heat loss is coming out through the center flue and the bottom where the burner is? A better investment of your money, other than a water heater blanket, would be insulating the hot water lines going out. Right now, this line is warmer than this tank. If we start insulating this line, and if someone would turn the hot water on upstairs, we would lose a tremendous amount of heat. Have you ever wondered why you have to wait and wait and wait for hot water at the faucet and at the sink? when you first turn it on in the mornings, it's because you've lost all this water in this line has gone cold. Would it not be better to insulate, put a jacket on this line that it's exposed? Now we only have to do the hot water side. We don't have to do the cold water. This foam wrap comes in half inch diameter and three quarter inch diameter. And you will see right here, this pipe coming off the water heater is three-quarter inch. It'll also be cut with our razor knife. What I'm going to do, because up here where we have a 45-degree angle, I'm going to cut a 90-degree angle on my foam wrap. And that way, when I put this on, this is pre-split. It'll just snap around the copper line. You can just use a little uh, electrician tape or zip ties to hold this material on. It's very similar to what uh, you might have on your refrigeration line on your home coming from your air conditioner to the evap coil on your furnace. In addition, there's another piece of material that works great for fastening this water line on instead of electrician's tape are these what we call tiger tails or zip ties. What we have here between the floor joists is a sink. The three quarter inch hot water line will continue and go on down to a shower. The cold water line is on the back side of this joist. It's looping around and coming up. As you face the sink, the hot water will be on your left side. But we've gone from a three quarter inch line down to a half inch line. So what we want to do is we want to put the right size jacket on this line so we're using the half inch pipe. I've also cut it on a 45 degree so it'll infill as it lays up against the three quarter inch pipe. A couple zip ties or electrician's tape and we're good. Be careful though, we've got a few hazards up here. You've got some staples so watch your hands all the time even when you're working up close with this material. This material here to insulate your hot water line will probably cost you easily less than 80 bucks to do your entire house. And you can probably do this easily within a half a day. The duct insulation project, yeah, this is the better part of a weekend and it's probably gonna cost you closer to two and three hundred dollars worth of materials. And while this project is cheaper to do, 
easier to do, this one will pay back sooner. Why is that? When you turn on your water line, your hot water upstairs, that's the only time this really loses heat. However, your duck loses heat at night when you're sleeping, when your furnace kicks on. In the summertime, when you're gone from your home and your air conditioning kicks on, this cycles on and off all the time. So your heat loss is greater off of your sheet metal duct than it is off the hot water line. But the reason for doing both projects is to save energy, improve the balance in your home, and to be more comfortable.